Joined now by former Deputy Mayor of Jerusalem and Israel's Special Envoy for Trade and Innovation, Floor Hassan Nahum. Thank you so much for joining us here on Scripps News. So according to Axios, three U.S. and Israeli officials said they expect Iran to attack Israel as early as Monday. How are Israeli citizens bracing for what's likely to come? Well, it's really an awful feeling to know that you're sitting there waiting to be attacked and not really being able to do anything about it, not know where it's going to hit, not know how devastating or not devastating it's going to be. And so there's an enormous sense of insecurity at the moment in Israel, unfortunately, from a personal level as well as a collective level. And how is the Israeli government preparing to respond from an attack, whether it's directly from Iran or from a proxy group? Well, from a proxy group, unfortunately, we've already been attacked uh, from Hezbollah from the 8th of October. Of course, after the devastating massacre that Hamas started this whole war, we've been attacked incessantly, as well as the American uh, uh, men, servicemen and women, by the Houthis, who are a proxy of Iran in uh, Yemen. And so the proxies, we've already, we've already been there. The question now is, is there going to be a direct attack from Iran the way that we had in April. And in April, we had an incredible, very, very strong defense coalition led by the United States, which included Jordan and even the UAE and Saudi Arabia. And that repelled almost 99% of those attacks. I would assume right now that there's a coalition that is being formed as we speak. And of course, the United States are being extremely supportive and have sent many, many warships to the Gulf in order to see how they can protect us. Specifically in regards to that April attack where we saw 300 missiles and drones, is that what is expected this time around or is there a possibility for something more forceful from Iran? Well, that's just the thing that we have no idea. The last time the attack was kind of almost coordinated. We knew what they were going to do. We knew when they were going to do it. And we were expecting and prepared because we had the intelligence of exactly what to expect. This time, at the moment, from what I understand, we don't know when, we don't know what. Uh, and this is why there's a, an extreme sense of insecurity at the moment in the country. If it is something similar to what we saw in April, do you expect to cause this to cause a wider conflict between Israel and Iran? Look, Israel never wants war. We've been flung into this war from the 7th of October. We, I would hope that it wouldn't lead to something wider because war is bad and we don't want more innocent lives being lost on any side. And so I would hope that with international pressure, Iran won't escalate this. But if we're looking at it objectively, this could be the precipice of a third world war. We just don't know which direction this is going to take. I still believe that Iran doesn't want an all out war, but we'll just have to see what type of attack that they do. Definitely a very difficult situation. And as you said, a very scary situation for the people sitting and waiting, uh, hoping that nothing you know, becomes a full scale attack like we've seen. Uh, former Deputy Mayor of Jerusalem, Floor Hassan Nahum, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.